Hello, I'm Meli for Edu for Java, and uh, this is the presentation of a new series of tutorials um, of game programming for beginners, uh, where I will explain new Java concepts of an intermediate level, like uh, threads, AWT, Swing, and basic concepts for game programming, like uh, game loop sprites, etc. My idea here is that these tutorials are useful both for those who want to program games as for those who, with a basic or intermediate level in Java, want to learn a bit more and improve these Java programming concepts in an entertaining way. Game programming in Java has advanced um, a lot. Uh, these last years, until very recently, uh, professional games have always been developed in C or C++. Uh, this has changed, and now there are great games, great games developed completely in Java. The most interesting thing of this is that uh, not only big companies can make this, uh, develop these games, but uh, only just one programmer can can do it. A fine example of this is um, this big old and big game Minecraft. Uh, that I'm sure some of you know it. All of this uh, is made in in Java. It's a bit complicated because it's made in 3D, but uh, it's made in Java. Minecraft. Minecraft um, was created by only just one developer, Marcus. Um, he did it by himself, and well, now he uh, has created his own company. And the last time I uh, looked for the information, uh, he had uh, 2 million users. So that's, uh, we can say, it's a success. The really important um, thing about this is um, that we get the idea that one uh, programmer alone can make a, a Java game. Here I'm going to show you the source code of a game that this programmer made for a competition. It's called Minicraft. We can execute this game and we can play it so you can see how it goes. It's not an easy game to make in 48 hours. You have to know what you're doing to make this kind of game. But um, for me I got the motivation to do what I've always wanted to do, that was uh, game programming. And I also got the idea to um, help you out uh, to teach you some Java in uh, an entertaining way for this series of tutorials and maybe for a more complicated series of tutorials later on. On the other hand, I would like to say that um, the game industry for mobile, is, as you know, is growing, and Java is the language to program to program to develop in Android. So it is very important to know how to program games in Java. Once I've said this, uh, we're going to continue with our example with a game. Mini tennis. It is going to be an easy game just to um, teach you new concepts in Java, intermediate concepts in Java. This is a uh, GIF of uh, the game of what we're going to have at the end of the development. As you can see here down below, there are 11 tutorials. Um, which are going to talk about um, new concepts, uh, ones related to the games, and uh, others uh, are new concepts of Java. Here I um, 
want to say to the people who are not interested in uh, game programming that um, we're going to teach a lot of uh, concepts of Java, Java concepts, just um, uh, using uh, the game in an entertaining way, but uh, it's going to be Java, so uh, pay attention because it's going to be really interesting. We are going to start with uh, tutorial number one, our first graphic, G-Frame, G-Panel, and pay the Paint. Yeah. Okay, see you in this tutorial. Bye.